Uh, yeah, who's the uh, most famous person that's reached out to you and said they were a fan? Most famous person that reached out? Um, Come I think, on. Uh, I guess Scarlett Johansson. Oh, oh God. Yeah. That's a funny bitch. Well, she didn't reach out. Well, yeah, I met her at, at the Talk club. about it. I, Wait, was I, that in your special? No. That was under my special, yeah. I do this a bit one? about this one, yeah. The, the live from Chicago? Yeah. Well, I talk about meeting her. I like when you have a look on your face, like when you ask someone. No, because I think them. I heard that on the radio, and I don't remember seeing it in the special. I could be wrong. Though. But you were. Oh, back. you're right. It's just, it's the end. It's close. It's to the, he knows so. he's right. It's his. I mean, special. He might not be right. Okay, he so does what, a lot of comments. So what's the Scarlet story? It's just uh, somebody had told me she was a fan, and then I, I saw her in the club, and I uh, I walk. Uh, my I was with uh, I was with Aziz actually. I that say, helps. Okay, good. I say, man, introduce me to Scarlet. I heard she's a fan. Um, don't introduce. How me does he say. know her? I think he just knows her from famous life. Cause he's yeah, he's famous. Cause he's famous as shit. He's a different level up. Like, let's be real. Let's just call it like it is. Yeah, yeah. And so he uh, he walks over. Scarlett is Hannibal. Hannibal. Scarlett. She's oh Hannibal. I'm a huge fan of your stand up. I'm just like oh. Thank Did you. she know like jokes? She didn't spit jokes, but she wasn't. She like was genuine, like legit. Right. Cause there's no reason for her. This was a two three years ago. Where, right. So it wasn't. I I don't even think my first special was out yet. So she knew like. YouTube clips of late uh, night shit. You know what I mean? Okay, I had okay. nothing long for him yeah. out yet. Uh, but yeah, she was just real cool. And then the next time I saw her in the club, I was creepy and shit. What do you mean? I just was, I was drunk. And whenever she would walk past me, I would go, Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet. So I do the bit in the special. <laughs> I hope she's still a fan and shit. Yeah, of <laughs> so do you think it actually weirded her out in the club or no? I don't know if she even heard me or not, but I also saw What's it. she like in the club, by the way? She was just kicking it. It was this spot, uh, back. cabin in uh, the East Village. So that was a spot. It was just a chill. It wasn't like a club, like bottles and everybody wilding out. It was one of those type of people chilling and talking type joints. So she was just talking to people and shit. How how shy are you when it comes to people coming up and talking to you? Like, would you really prefer it never happen or? No, I'm cool with it, man. Just cause that's that's part of that's part of why I make money is because people know me. So uh, as long as people are cool and they. You know, pick the spot to do it. Like, don't, don't interrupt. If you see me having a, a deep discussion with my girl, don't interrupt that. Uh, <laughs> they still do. I don't know why any artist or actor ever says this. What you're about to say or what you're saying because it never, it never ma- it, doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. But uh, but yeah. So I appreciate people, and and it's cool when people say what's up, and, and as long as they don't they make it they don't make it weird. I I appreciate it. I'm happy to, to talk. I was to talking people. to somebody the other night. Like I'm talking to somebody having a full foot and they come over on the on the side of me and the, and I start talking and i was like yo my man i'm in a conversation yeah he's like all right, all right. i was just telling you about my man he raps it, it, it. I yeah. you, i'm but do you see like just manners like yeah. manners i know and that's like i complained about recently because like we're going hollywood let's be honest might as well get out here now <laughs> now he's making you look like a hollywood asshole i know yeah. and it's not really it's really you just being a person the worst shit in the world is like i said Two situations. One, if I'm talking to my wife. Two, even worse, if I'm talking to a bitch that ain't my wife. <laughs> All right? My <laughs> wife walks away, yo. I swear to God. I swear to God it happened last week when me and my wife. How long have you been with your girl? Uh, about a year and a half. All right. So you guys are still you know, still relatively new. Me and my wife coming up on, God, I think we're coming up on a decade, nine or ten years. What's life? What do you, I think we're the same. What's yours? Um, eight, eight and a half now. All right. I think I'm coming up on nine years, something like that. And me and my wife were having a bad moment. It was outside of a... Uh, Here's my wife would be real. It's the only rapper I let her take a picture God, of. God, your wife's hot. <laughs> I don't think I look, I look at her hot wife. My wife's been all over TV. God, look how, look how hot Sy's wife is. <laughs> he met my wife before. Oh, yeah. You see that look he's in? He was having a black Asian fantasy thing right in that moment. Like, oh, yes. You know it's natural. Saif, you know it's natural. The black man and the Asian woman have a natural connection. You can't fight it. So me and my wife were having a moment in which I was literally, I may have been six, I may have been six milliseconds from grabbing my wife's arm. This is the kind of argument we're Where having. Where was this? Outside of um, the bowling place. Lucky Strike. Oh, really? Yeah, and my oh, wife- really? My wife all of a sudden got twisted and it hit her very quickly and she was being inappropriately loud and we're having an argument and I was like, you know, it was one of the- Wait, you, you took her outside? No, we, we were leaving. We were already outside, but it was pouring rain. She had just gotten really drunk and it was just one of those messy moments yeah. that when you're with someone for 10 years, happens every, every couple of years, you might have one happen. Yeah. And I'm like, baby, 
this is not the time. Yeah. And as I'm clenching my teeth in anger, uh, a guy comes and gives me a CD, and I was still polite. I was like, cool, man, thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. Now listen, <laughs> you are going. And then the other one is when I was out uh, recently at a club, literally I was having a moment, Hannibal. I was, I don't often get too drunk in public, but I was feeling good in mm. public. I was around women that I know, but who are still beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Drinking, talking, little sitting on the couch. Life was there, sitting on the couch, yeah. having a good time. This was at uh, uh, the Griffin. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Friday night. There oh, are yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. There oh, are. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, he set me up by this. was Sife's setup. Did we already talk about this on the yeah. last podcast? I don't know. We may have already talked about it. And the guy comes to Sife, starts asking about music. Sife's so like, uh, you know who would love to hear about this? <laughs> Rosenberg. Uh, <laughs> he, no, uh, and Rosenberg plays new music on his show. That's what it was about. know it's factual. <laughs> that doesn't make it right. So I'm sitting on the on this up on a ledge yeah. at the Griffin, and the guy crawls on the ledge from behind. Oh, man. I was like, oh. And, no he, crazy. And, you, and you don't ever get, you probably don't get this as much because it's a music thing. Sometimes cats come at you so aggressive, you feel like they're off top trying to fight you. <laughs> like yo, no, you need to hear this. Yeah, I'm yeah. the best in New Trying York. To put headphones on your head. <laughs> Listen to these headphones. I'm like, I don't want to do this. Why are yeah. you making me do this? It is weird. Start that. rapping. Just start rapping. I do remember that hunger though. I don't know if I was that aggressive, but I do remember wanting that want to just get on and just feeling like it was one connect away or something or just doing shows in New York. And you're like, if I you gotta understand, Hannibal, I'm mad cool with these people. And I'm like, hey. Yeah. I'll listen to your shit. I can't take a CD uh, legally yeah. and in front of the station. That's not true. In front of the station? I still don't think it's legally true. No, but you know they could sue you. Who could? Pe the people, when they give you a demo, yeah. and then let's say you put out a record, and they could say your record sounds like theirs. Oh, sure, sure. So I say email it. Perfect. And then um, and nine, nine out of ten times, they don't even fucking email. I don't know yeah. how they, they know how to use email. But I'm like, yo, do me here. To, here's my email. Yeah. Send it to me or have your manager hit me up, da, 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 and, and I'll listen to it. And they like, nah, son. Yo, my, I'm saying I'm in the Audi, the color of leather. Yo, I'm more better. Better. <laughs> yo. I'm like, son, I don't want to hear it. And I just stop, start talking stop. louder. I don't want to hear you rap. I don't want to hear you rap. I don't want to hear you rap right now. He's not lying. Yo, the forced rap. You know what it's like to have your ears raped? You're trying to cover them. You're like, no, no, no. They're like, no, no, hold on, hold on. Gucci sneakers. I'm a, I'm a massage. I'm a streaker. Because I understand thinking you're one connection away, but here's my yeah. question. Why do you want to yell at that connection? Yeah, the one, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just people don't don't know the 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 don't have the social skills. Did you ever go what roll up on a famous comedian and just start telling them jokes without them asking never, for it? Never, never at all. No. Yeah. How do you roll up to someone you uh, uh, admire? I'll just say I'll just say what's up or something. I'll just uh, introduce myself. But, like but sometimes you... I don't like bothering people though either because I don't know what their well, any com... is. Do there any that you didn't talk to that you wish you did? Like you saw him, like you saw Eddie Murphy or someone out, and you were like, oh, I don't want to. No, I haven't seen Eddie Murphy out, but pretty much just everybody else I, I've been able to to meet that I wanted. I like, work with Chappelle and and Rock, uh, Louis. So yeah, it's not that many. People. Seinfeld. Uh, I've been on a set with Seinfeld. I haven't talked talked to him. I did I, I, on a show with Seinfeld. I was we both were on the Comedy Cellar uh, show one time. He popped in, but I haven't got the I haven't got the chop it up with. Seinfeld. Do you still hit them with the "Hello, my name is"? Uh, not with because usually in those other situations we've been introed already. And, okay, perfect. But I feel like the people and at least the people that are still active in stand up. They know me even if we haven't met. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if they're, they're active, they should know him. Yeah. It's I, you're up. talked about. I think it's, you know who the who the new hot guy on the scene is, or they might ask, "Who's the new hot guy on the scene?" And someone will go, "Well, that's Hannibal." That would be Hannibal Burris. Next, what? Why? I know you make jokes about this, but yeah. can you just talk about being a kid named Hannibal? Yeah. I know you've talked about this, but still. Yeah, it's just. I mean, it's weird. It's this is gonna always be be weird. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a name. I was named after the general, Hannibal Barker. My dad named me after him. Uh, How big a nerd is your dad? My dad is not really a nerd, man. He was just into history? Oh, a little bit. African, just, African warrior yeah. shit. My dad is just, yeah, he's just a sharp dude. Just worked at the railroad. He just retired. Well, what kind of general was, was Hannibal? Man, he just retired? You didn't get him out of retirement earlier? You I been couldn't God damn, Hannibal. You, you been making, making a little bit of paper? Uh, 
Uh, you could have got a mountain home. No, not I enough to go. I think you're overestimating my house. I'm, How I'm did doing, you get him a house? I'm doing a, listen, man. <laughs> I'm working yeah. with my, I got my family is doing all right, man. <laughs> oh, you're a lot younger than me, though. I feel pissed. <laughs> I want to get my mom that big house. I'm like, fuck. You I already gotta... got her a house, didn't you? Yeah, but it's not that big house. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And it's so. still, she still got to pay the bills on it. Uh, I mean. What was? What do you do? You pay the down payment? Yeah, I just, yeah, I just got she it. She pays the mortgage. Yeah, that's still pretty good, Saif. I know, but it's not. You, listen, the, well, well, my mom still has money issues. Like, I would if 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 I was to say this to anyone. My mom works at Lowe's, yo. If any, <laughs> <laughs> you're a piece of shit. But she likes it though. I know, I know. She's she wants to job. Did you pick out the house? Huh? Nah, nah, nah. You just let her pick out. Yeah, a house? I just gave her some bread. She, she was, threw down the she down was payment. moving anyway. I think I don't even did not the whole down payment. I just gave her some bread. Sive, it's pretty good considering you're just a radio DJ. <laughs> That's what we are. That's what people, if anyone else said that but me, you want to sock them in the face. But you're just a radio jock. I know. I want to say I want children. Get... We're the stepchildren of the entertainment oh, business. Stepchildren. Look at this guy. He he he. he they can they can smoke weed all night, sleep till noon, yeah. go fuck bitches and get drunk at night, and they are considered. Can you call Tina Fey right now. They elite. Can you call Tina Fey right this minute? I That's right. No, I Amy Poehler. No, but no, I could. Yeah, I could hear Amy. She would answer. I don't know. I, I never called. Were you just know. calling if she answers? Hang Wait, up. You could call Amy before Tina. Yeah, because Amy, I just didn't. I didn't communicate with Same Tina management. like that via via phone. Uh, do you ever talk to either of them on the phone? No. Never. No. Nope. Do you think? Do you think you're in Amy's phone? I uh, <laughs> I don't know. Or you think when it comes up, it just says nine one seven. Some 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 some. Let me see. Let Let's me see, see what happens, man. man. Just call her and if she answers, just hang up real quick. Okay. Let me Say see. Say you pocket dialed. <laughs> It's ver- yeah, I po- oh, I pocket dialed you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was calling Amy Peters. If it makes you feel better, we had Q-tip do this to Stevie Wonder once. <laughs> okay, let me see if... Uh, uh... <laughs> Saif, listen. If she answers... I think... If she answers, Saif, don't start screaming. No, I'm going to scream. You see me? Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 